Okay, so let's wrap this up. Um, me again. Uh, so we're just gonna wrap this up with a final, a final, a final render. Jeez. So in preparation for the final render, what you want to do is one of two things. You could either render out the this animation as a PNG sequence, or you can render it out as a movie file. So in order to render, what we need to do first of all is go to File, Output Settings, <clears throat> and then we have options. Because you only have one camera, that's probably going to be just one camera. And the same with the camera, what's the size of it, that's the size, so using the same um, stuff. Uh, so frame start to frame end, that's how long your animation is in total. You can always check how far your frames go. And you can save in where, and you can choose the location of it that you're going to save it. Um, I'm going to leave that. So if I'm going to render it out as a PNG sequence, here's what I need to PNG. And you just tell it to render out this sequence. It's going to render out all the frames to that location. The thing about it is that with a PNG sequence, you don't get the audio in. Um, kind of breezy where I am, so bear with me. <coughs> So what I'm going to do this time around is MOV, but I'm not going to render just yet. Let's close this for a bit. For the MOV, um, right now we have a white background, and what we want to do essentially, we're going to be putting this character on a different background. So here's what we need to do. One, let's add a new column. So right now I'm in the timeline view. Right, so timeline, just change this back to was timeline view. And we're gonna just right click on that first column there. If you don't have anything here, or if you know your column is full there, you can always choose to insert before. All right, that's gonna create one more column. Click on frame one. And what I'm gonna do is create a rectangle that's gonna surround the stage. All right. <clears throat> so the color we wanna use for this is we're gonna use yep, uh, we're gonna use a green screen. Now the reason why we're using a green screen, particularly, generally in movies they use green screens because of human skin tones being more towards the warmer colors. And we're using a green screen for this character because, quite frankly, there's no green on the character. So it makes it easier for the character to be cut out of the background when we get into the whole compositing. Bit. So if you have a character that is green, it's best not to use a green background. Choose a color that is not on the character or doesn't look too close or similar to the character. I'm using green. I could use bright. Um, I wouldn't use blue. I wouldn't use red because there's red on the character. So I'm just picking the best color I have. And what I want to do is also extend this to about 444 frames. Which is so long this animation is. So we're going down, 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 down. Going down. Oh, keep going. Right, where are we? Down, 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 down. Screech. Da, da, da. All right. <clears throat> now that we got that there, and ideally you want your character to be as big as possible. So I could actually scale up my character, or I could bring in my camera a little bit closer. But right now, we're not going to do that. Right now, I think this is a good enough size for what we're going to do. <clears throat> and so, let's play him out one more time before we know we render him out. So, yeah, I'm Wolfie. Actually, my name is William. Yeah, we've, we've heard it several times. So, that's cool. Let's go back to the um, output settings. And we have everything set up. What we're going to call this, um, Wolfie. I should really make it F Feral Wolfie um, Speak Right uh, <clears throat> And we already know where we're putting it We just chose where we're putting it Inside the out outputs Choose outputs I don't know why there's a plus button A plus sign there but uh, That works uh, Gamma nothing no other settings we could do stereoscopy, which would be kind of cool if we had some stuff. 
<coughs> but we're not. Once you're done, just hit uh, render and hopefully it won't so not crash. It's gonna be rendering this out. Uh, we'll speed this up. <coughs> Sweet. <clears throat> so here's a flip book of Wolfie Speaks, it gives you a preview of what we're getting. And that's what we have there. Cool. We could always scrub this. I'm wondering if it exported with audio. Let's just check. Um, four frames per second. Cool. So there's no audio on this. I wonder what the problem could have been. Well, we have the camera settings done. Um, what he speaks, channel width, render tiles, other settings, a clever board. Here's what. I'm not going to worry about the audio too much because we actually imported an audio file before. And <clears throat> where we're going to take it next, we're going to do it in two different software. We're going to use After Effects first. And then I'm going to create a separate video for um, doing it in Hit Films Express. Now, I've never done this in Hit Films Express before, so this should be really fun. See how fast we can get this done. If it works anything like After Effects, and it should, then I suppose we'll be able to get the same result. So I'm going to join you in the next video where we're going to actually take this character and we're going to import it into different software and then work done. Alright, thanks for watching. Let's go.